Today's video is brought to you by My First Wig. So, um, if you're new to my channel, I am not new to My First Wig. I have tried a lot of their wigs over the last like three or four years, and I've enjoyed like most of them. Um, they have great quality, and the thing about My First Wig is their wigs are created for beginners. So, their whole collection or their concept of their company is to cater to beginners. Today, I am going to be trying their um, wig in the style Brenda. And while I'm talking about all the specs and stuff, I am going to insert some unboxing of what the wig looked like. I'm going to insert some unboxing of, you know, everything that came in the box and everything on the screen. This wig, her name is Brenda. It's a Malaysian ombre red lace front wig. Um, the hair length is 12 inches. It's 130% density. The cap size is one. So I think that's the largest cap size. So it's kind of, I think that's like a glueless cap size if I'm not mistaken. I believe so. The texture is yakky, which is my favorite texture to get with human or synthetic wigs. I like either kinky straight textures a lot or, um, you know, just yakky textures. I really like that because it, it mimics African American hair. So um, it has an adjustable elastic band in it, which I love. And I love that companies are starting to do that because the elastic that, the traditional elastic is fine too, just as long as it's in the cap, but the adjustable elastic, you can, you know, make the wig fit, you know, more custom to your head size. So, and this is my first time trying Miss Precious Marie's fake scalp. And I waited a little while to try the fake scalp thing because you know that big controversy a couple months ago and the way that my first wig handled it and gave her her props and they have like a collaboration with her I thought that was really dope so um, I'm glad I can finally try it and I'm trying hers like her specific method um, I have the light brown scalp color with mine and it has deep bleached knots so they say that this is beginner and this is for beginners and the lazy wig wearer so even though i know how to wear i know how to style my wigs and customize it to fit you know my head and everything i can just put on a wig and just flat iron it and you know put minimal effort into my wig then i want a wig like that so hopefully it is actually like that so it says there's no plucking needed, no bleaching needed, no work needed. They say it's ready to go like right away. Now you're gonna have to flat iron it because I wash mine. Um, I wash most of my human hair wigs before I wear them. Um, the last one, the last my first wig wig that I reviewed was another red one which was gorgeous. Um, I just you know wore it out the pack, but I would suggest that you do um, wash it before wearing it just to be safe now even after washing it the fake scalp is intact because you know they improved upon like the original concept and everything um, so it's still intact I washed this I didn't take it easy on it and it's no tears in it now if you are rough you could probably still tear this but I don't think that's gonna be an issue for me so and this is even though it's the fake scalp method but it's also um the lace that you get with this is swiss lace so but makes it appear so the lace is going to be a lot more thin and it's going to be more of an invisible look because it's um constructed in a way that's a lot more tight uh versus the other lace so you guys can see the comparison on the screen they say that their lace is more durable and it lasts longer because it's Swiss lace. So, so I am going to go ahead and put this on my head. So I'm going to adjust this actually because this feels like it's pretty big. So I'm glad they um, sent me this red color again, which is so beautiful. The red wig that I reviewed last time was a silky texture. This one is yakky. 
and I'm just really excited about that. I wore my last wig in the middle part, so let's do side part. So this is what the hairline looks like. It's not pre-plucked. I mean, it's not, I haven't tweezed it or anything. And I haven't put any powder on the lace, so we'll see what it looks like. These parting spaces. That is a really nice part. That looks really good already. So let's see what it looks like as a side part. That looks good too. So I'm back and I have finished styling Brenda and um, I only use, no I use the Got To Be Glued Free Spray and the black bottle um, mainly around like the edges on this side after I sprayed the Got To Be Glued Free Spray and it's, you know, that method is just easy, a lot easier and less messy in my opinion um, but it still gives a really great hold. And I just did like a little bit of, you know, curl on this side or bump the bang a little bit just to give it a little bit of a feather over here. Um, this wig just naturally has volume. So I did take a little bit of volume away with the hot comb, but I kept a little bit of it. This length is 12 inches. It, it looks like it's asymmetrical, um, like it's more full to one side. I'm six feet tall, so if you are shorter than me, it's gonna appear a little bit longer. So this is what it looks like in all directions. So when I was, um, you know, cutting the lace and stuff, this cap size one was really big, so I had to um, adjust the straps, adjust the adjustable headband, or the elastic headband that's inside the cap. And then I did cut around the ear. So I do have um, some lace here where I cut from around the ear. And I did take some of the hair off. So if you want to customize your wig, of course, be very careful. But you're going to have to cut some of the wig when you um, cut around the ear. So after I got the hairline down, I just ran a flat iron through it and got the roots down with my hot comb. I don't have like an exact part. This I'm wearing this more as a flip over look, but the parting space on this wig looks amazing. Um, even before I put any powder or anything on it, you can get away with not putting powder on this wig, 
but because I had a little bit of makeup on my forehead before applying this wig it did kind of mix with the got to be glue free spray with well, the got to be glue free spray and it did create that white cast that a lot of frontals get so I just wiped it away with a little bit of like astringent that I have and then I put the powder on top of it and it just looks really natural so this is another wig that you don't have to have baby hairs to conceal how obvious the lace is and stuff like that the lace melts beautifully so you don't have to do that so um as far as shedding goes I do get I do have some shedding because I did cut around like the ear area so I'm do so I do have some shedding there tangling yet my hands do glide right through it and I just think this is a beautiful cut paired with this beautiful red color it's just so pretty um, it's a wig I can wear all year round this wig is gonna be beautiful for fall um, but it, it still works right now I think this is just so so pretty this, is, this looks really really good so if you are interested in Brenda head over to my first wig check the description box to see if I have any coupon codes or anything like that shout out to my first wig for sending me another wig to review for you guys and sponsoring another video and shout out to you guys for tuning in if you enjoyed this video leave me a comment down below thumbs up this video and if you are new here make sure you are subscribed and turn on your notifications so you'll be notified every time that I do another upload and I will see you guys in the next video bye guys